Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us discuss the third semester subject Analog and Digital Electronics. Let us see the syllabus of Analog and Digital Electronics subject that is 21 CS 33. In this subject, you can see here teaching hours per week. It is given as 3 is to 0 is to 2 is to 0. It means this subject will be consisting of theory part and as well as the practical part. So per week you will be having 3 hours of theory classes with that 2 sessions of labs will be conducted. So in the same subject with code 21 CS 33 the theory as well as practical part will be covered here. You can see here 40 theory classes hours plus 20 practical hours will be conducted but CAE and SE marks will be for 50-50 and total marks is 100 and SE exam will be for 3 hours. So let us see how this practical and theory classes will be divided and that will be covered in CIE and SE. These are the course learning objectives means in this subject you are going to learn about photoelectronic devices, triple five timer IC and regulator IC, mu A741 that is operational amplifier IC and other techniques related to design of combinational circuits. So simplification of combinational circuits are going to be learned in this subject using KMAP and Queen Maclew scheme method and illustrate combinational and sequential digital circuits and then demonstrate the use of flip flops and apply for registers and design and test counters analog to digital, digital to analog conversion techniques. So this is what the main agenda of this subject. So let us get into the module wise syllabus and see what is there. This is module 1. In module 1 you can see this is an analog electronics part. In the subject name itself we have seen analog and digital electronics. Module 1 will be consisting of analog part. Here the first concept is BJT biasing means it is with respect to transistor biasing NPN and PNP transistors connection and how biasing will be done will be covered in the first topic. Then operational amplifier application circuits in the first semester or second semester you have seen op-amp circuits like inverting non-inverting amplifiers. So the next version of those op-amp circuits is discussed here, a peak detector, mid trigger, voltage to current, current to voltage converter like that. This is what the first module is about transistors and op-amp. Here also clearly they have given which textbook and the part need to be uh, considered to cover these portions. We need, we need to refer textbook 1 and chapter 4, 7 and 8 and 9 for this particular module. And laboratory component is given here. Simulate BJT common emitter voltage divider biased voltage amplifier using suitable circuit simulator. Here we are supposed to use any simulator, circuit simulator to make the circuit and we need to simulate this circuit. And using the op-amp we need to design 1 kilohertz relaxation oscillator with 50% duty cycle and design a A-stable multi-vibrator circuit for 3 cases of duty cycles, different duty cycles they have given here. And using this 741 op-amp design a window comparator for given UTP and LTP. So some of these com concepts you have studied in basic electronics itself, now they kept in uh, this subject for laboratory component to simulate using any circuit simulator. And then module 2, module 2 is of digital part that is uh, to sim uh, simplify the boolean expressions we will be using k maps. So k map minimum form of switching functions 2 and 3 variable k maps, 4 variable k maps and min term. So these are the things covered in the first half of the module. Next method to simplify the Boolean expression is queen Maklewski method. So this need to be discussed. So this chapter or this module is just consisting of KMAP simplification and queen Maklewski method simplification of Boolean expressions and things related to that. Here also it is given textbook 1 need to be referred, chapter 5, chapter 6. And here laboratory component is that given a four variable logical expression, simplify it using appropriate technique and implement it using basic gates. This is the laboratory component they have given. 
and then module 3 that is the next continuation of combinational circuits. So combinational circuit design and simulation using gates. Here we need to review the combinational circuit design and design of circuits, limited gate uh, fanning, gate delay, timing delays, timing diagrams, hazards in combinational circuits, simulation and testing of logic circuit. This is first half of module 3 related to combinational circuit design. And coming to the next half, multiplexer, decoder and programmable logic devices is the second half of the module. This covered in textbook 1 again, chapter 8 and chapter 9, these sections. So with this module, the laboratory component includes a 4 variable logical expression is given again. Simplify it and up using appropriate technique means using KMAP or Quinn Maklewski method we need to uh, simplify and realize using A8 is to 1 multiplexer IC. This is the first experiment. Second experiment again a code converter binary to gray and gray to binary code. So this is module 3 then module 4 is coming to VHDL introduction to VHDL this is a type of hardware description language. Here the coding of, uh, here this is a coding part actually. So where you are going to learn VHDL programming language, we need to write a VHDL code to get the combinational circuits. The simulator is going to simulate and give you the output for the functionality. Suppose if you take flip flop, the hardware what it is going to generate will be given by synthesizer. So for that directly we are going to write a VHDL code here for these components flip flop latches in this module. So in the fourth module you are going to learn VHDL coding method for circuit. And laboratory component for this is again a 4 variable logical expression is given and simplify it using technique and we need to simulate that using HDL simulator. Here we need to use any HDL simulator like Xilinx, Vivado or Cadence any software and we need to simulate it and check the output for this logical expression and realize JK master slave flip flop using NAND gates verify its truth table and implement it using HDL we need to write the code using VHDL this is laboratory component for the fourth module coming to fifth module registers and counters here different types of registers and register transfers parallel order with accumulator shift registers are discussed and then coming to counters binary counter counters for other sequences counter design using SR and JK flip flop that is module 5 that covered in again the same textbook 1 in chapter 12. Coming to laboratory component here modern counter design is given using JK flip flop IC and we need to demonstrate its work by designing this mod n counter and design and implement asynchronous counter using decade counter IC a particular IC they have given here and we need to take that IC and design a asynchronous counter which is counting from 0 to n that is n is less than equal to 9 and demonstrate on 7 segment display. So we need to display that count using 7 segment display. Here we need to use ICs in lab. So this is the last unit. You can see the course outcome also. Here the main idea is to uh, make the students will be able to design and analyze analog circuits using these and then digital to analog, analog to digital conversion circuits and simplify digital circuits using KMAP and Queen Maklewski method and explain gates, flip flops and data processing circuits like counter registers like that and develop simple HDL programs using VHDL. And again coming to CIE and SCE, CIE for uh, theory part you will be having uh, three tests for 20 marks duration will be one hour and these tests are going to be conducted fifth week of the semester 10th week and 15th week and uh, two assignments will be given for 10 marks and practical sessions need to be assessed by appropriate rubrics and YYS method it will give you 20 marks so totally CIE for 50 marks that will be split into 30 for theory and 20 for practical and each experiment will be conducted in lab for 15 marks they will be evaluated your record 
and the lab uh, experiment conduction and 5 marks will be for viva and totally these two will be consolidated scaled down to 50 marks as a CIE marks. This is about how CIE will be conducted and splitting up of practical and theory. And coming to semester and examination, as you know 20 marks questions will be there from each module, you will be having choices and, and students have to answer 5 full questions selecting 1 full question from each module. This is what given about SEE in the syllabus book. You can refer this syllabus copy with this uh, VTU link. You can go and download this PDF for your reference. They have given the textbooks that is Charles H. Roth, uh, Analog and Digital Electronics for this uh, syllabus content that is textbook and also they have given four reference books and also video links and video lectures have given as NPTEL courses to NPTEL courses you can take and you can get certified from those courses also. This is about the subject analog and digital electronics which, which comes under all the computer science branches in third semester. Thank you.